Hi everyone, I'm Ann Butler. Welcome back to my studio. Today I am excited to share with you my new line of rubber stamps with Unity Stamp Company. These stamps are basic shapes that can be used for folk quilting, card making, scrapbooking, backgrounds. There are so many possibilities with these stamps. I'm excited to share it with you. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to do over stamping or double stamping. Sometimes when you stamp, you don't get the impression that you want. On this block that I did here, I love how the black turned out, but the teal, I didn't ink up my stamp enough, so it's really light in this area. So instead of throwing this piece away, there's an easy solution. I take my ink and I'm using Cracker's ink by Clear Snap because it is for fabric. And I'm going to re ink my stamp in black. I'm using black because it'll pull in the black of the other color or the other stamp design I have here. And I'm going to line up my stamp with the stripes going the opposite way of the way I had stamped it originally. And I'm just going to put it right on top and over stamp or double stamp. And that way it corrects the problem of something being too light because you can't tell now. And this gives you a nice plaid effect. So it pulls in the black, but it lets the teal show through. I love that effect. It was um, an a great solution for when you don't get enough ink on, but it's also a great use to do for backgrounds on background scrapbooking or cards. So there, I just, I love that effect. I wanna show you a couple more examples that I have on cardstock and here I took my cardstock and I stamped out the plaid stamp 12 times in pink and then I took and over stamped with black with the other 11 2 inch blocks that are in my line and you can see that you get a different effect and some of them you might really like some you might not like so much but I love how it gives you another dimension so then I took the same plaid stamp and stamped it out in black and put pink over it now if I put these two side by side this is the black with the diamonds and then this is the pink with the diamonds so two totally different looks depending upon which color you lay down first and which stamp you put over it. So these are the exact two same stamps. One had pink on first with black over it. One had the black with the pink over it. So it gives you different looks. So experiment and have fun and be creative. See what you can do. These stamps have so many possibilities. I'm so excited to share them with you. In another... Um, video I'll show you how to make an entire background piece of paper in the same way. This card was done with pink and black and then I die cut it with spellbinders to create this card. So there's so many effects you can do. Just have fun and be creative. Thanks.